Hi, thanks for checking out another one of our videos here on YouTube. This is going to be a repair video on a Gallagher S200. Um, we don't see these in for repair that often. They're pretty reliable units for the most part. We just don't see them come in. Um, this one got in a flood. You see all the mud and dirt residue on the thing and the boards all... It's hard to see. this dark down inside there, but it's um, pretty corroded down inside there on that board. So, first thing we got to do is we need to replace the board for one, but we need to look at the connections on the transformer as well as the transformer and capacitor to make sure that they're fine. They look okay, but let's get this board out of here. Um, so if you've got one of these, either want to do the work yourself and order a part from us, we'll gladly help you out with that and get you parts for it. If you want to send us the unit, uh, if you want to save a little money on freight, you can send us just this back section, which is what the customer sent to us. They took it all apart, kept the batteries, and um, solar panel there because I guess they were fine um, and he sent us just the, the main frame that holds all the electronics in it and that would be a lot cheaper on freight because it's a smaller box and less weight and stuff like that and I've got a power supply here I don't need the batteries the batteries are good just keep them there so it saves some money on freight both directions coming and going um, well these units are not cheap I don't know what they used to sell for five six seven years ago but they are about $800 in 2023 prices, so they are not giving these things away by any means. There's information on that card, there's links in the description below. If you want to subscribe to the channel, appreciate that. Hit the thumbs up, it tells YouTube that we're doing a good job and people like our stuff. But, anyways, let's get this board out of here. I got a new board right here, or I did. Where the hell did I put it at? It's here somewhere. I'll find it here in a minute. Anyways, let's get this board out. Got just like uh, four screws, four Phillips screws, one in each corner. Sometimes I'll come out or sometimes they stay stuck in the board these ones kind of half st halfway stayed stuck in the board that fourth one's kind of up there hiding now we'll get this board out now these um, connect spade connectors they're not I mean they are quarter inch you know standard female spade connectors but these are a little different they have a locking tab on there that you have to squeeze at the same time you pull it or it will not release it kind of it's like a protection thing to help make sure these things don't fall off by accident so you gotta squeeze and pull at the same time and then they'll come right off. So there's the capacitor. Well, I don't know what size it is, but we'll put a tester across there, a meter, and see what we read. And then we'll ohm out um, the primary side of the transformer, make sure that it's, it's reading what it should be. I don't know what the secondary side is supposed to read because they're all, that's not universal. The primary sides are fairly universal but yeah I mean there's burnt stuff there. there's corrosion up here part of trace missing there I mean it's pretty toasty on there now they do have a uh, conformal coating on here which I'm sure protected and kept some of the parts from messing up you can see pieces broken off there or rusted or whatever happened there happened but we need to get a new board in here in a second but I need a I need to find that board. I just, I just had it a moment ago before I made this video. I don't know where the hell I set it at. I'll do it. I'll, I'll look for it here in a second. Well, let's test this um, capacitor. I don't know what size it is, but put a meter on capacitance. There's no polarity the capacitor, so let's put a meter across it. Rating 15, so I imagine it's probably a 15. I guess we could pull apart, pull this little flat thing off there and check and make sure maybe it's a 20 and it's supposed to read 15 or it's supposed to read 20 and it's reading 15 now I'll put a meter on ohms and we'll ohm out the primary side which should be 0 0.2 0 0.1 and 0 0.7 or 8 reading 0 0.4 so primary the transformer is fine let's go ahead and pull there's three screws this kind of helps 
keep the um, capacitor and transformer in their place. Now it is a 15, 15 microfarad, 1400, 1400 volt capacitor. Pretty, pretty high voltage capacitor. Well, that's the, that's the voltage they can handle. That's not what I'm putting out. All right, now I gotta get all these little, get those started all the screw, screw that to line up. And this one fell out. Get that thing lined up. I think it's in a good spot. And we'll put the screw. I guess those aren't all five. There's my. That these screws are mag magnetized. Look, I mean, picked it by a magnet or not? Let's see. Nope. All right, kind of sucks. Wish they would put magnetic screws or one screw that can be magnetized. Picked it by a magnet and got them in there. But okay, so let's look at those. I want to make sure there's no corrosion on them. That one's a little crusty, but I think it's I think it's fine. There's the board right there. Okay, well here's the new board. Nice shiny new board. It's got shimmering shininess to it. That's its conformal coating. It's all over every bit of this board. And it's all over everything. You can kind of see where it stops right there. See this little line? You can kind of see where it starts right there and works its way across. That's the conformal coating. Alright, now let's go ahead and put these wires back on there's, there's two for the um, transformer and then there's two for the capacitor now they they are labeled brown and purple on the board but these capacitors don't technically have a polarity but they we do that to just uh, help people out with assembly or repairs or whatever but these capacitors don't have a polarity to them all right so now i get the board down the side there now these are these boards the switch in the front of it um does not physically come in contact with the board you can see the switch is right would touch right here it's a little circly Kind of a little line right here. You can see a little line, a little white line. That's the switch talks to this stuff, but there's no physical switch that makes contact with the board. See, it has this little deal, but but it doesn't turn. It's just there to kind of help align the board into place. Is all it's really used for. This um, switch on here, there's a magnet inside there, really strong. I can't really kind of magnet. It starts at the end. Uh, type of magnet that it is, but it's a very, very strong magnet, and that's what uh, the magnet basically talks to the board through magic and inductance and whatever you want to call it, and that's what tells the board what to do and where what part to turn on. So we'll, we'll do a, kind of a crisscross pattern to get this board seated in. And then we'll do the other two screws. either put a new battery wire harness on it or maybe we can clean that but let's put let's plug this back in this is our battery contact wire and it only i believe only plugs in one way 
because these have a certain shape plug on them. There's some are square, some are like octagon looking, and they only plug in a certain way. So I'm making sure I plug it in right. Let's see, I think it's. And there's a little, yeah, there's a little catch on there. So it does, okay, so it goes like this, right? right. There's a little catch on there, so it, that also helps you plug in the right way. Okay, so now, you see all the crusty rustiness of there. Well, that might be a mix of uh, dielectric, anti, you know, whatever. Dielectric grease or some kind of something on there, but let's hold. Let's let's put the battery wire on there. Hold these two wires together. I guess it doesn't really matter, but we're gonna hold them together anyways. Make sure it's turned off, which it is. Now it is. And we'll put black wires together, and we'll hold them the red wires together and then put our power supply across those two leads all right let's um, turn it up like this turn the battery check first I got 13 and a half volts on there so it's up to here battery light comes on so hey good battery got green light turn it to this Green lights flashing. All right, seems to be working fine. Let's put our under these knobs here. Let's get our tester out. Put it across the terminals there. Turn it on. Almost 8,000 volts out of it. Take our screwdriver off or a tester off take a screwdriver and see what kind of spark this thing will throw okay so this one's done. So now we'll write the guy up for a new board and some labor and shipping and call it done. Like I said, if you got one of these units you like us to either help you out with getting parts if you want to do the work yourself or if you want to save some or save a little money, ship us just this back piece where all the guts hide out. If you don't feel comfortable doing it yourself, hope this video helps you and if you want to help us buy parts from us and we'll help you out I mean get a year and a half warranty on that board we give year and a half warranties on the repairs that we do we can't cover water damage as part of our warranty but lightning or uh, it, some way it stops working for some stupid reason you know a malfunction of some sort will help you out there um, but anyways thanks for checking our video here here's information again Our link's in the description below. Take you right to our website, fencerfixer.com. And we also work on livestock scales and low bars for both Gallagher and True Test. CattleScaleRepair.com is our website for that. And until next time, we'll see you guys later on.